guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a really long time since I've actually sat down and filmed a video. August has been a really busy month for me. I've had family around and I've been really busy with work as well. Um, I'm 38 weeks now and finally on my maternity leave so it's not long before baby is due. And now that I've got the time I wanted to make sure that I had some of these videos filmed for you before he's here. So this is a what's in my hospital bag video and I'll do a separate video on what's in my baby's hospital bag. I've been watching a lot of these videos throughout my pregnancy just so that I can prepare and pack what I may need for the hospital. It's give They've given me quite a few ideas. I'm a first time mum so I've probably packed a lot more than what I need but I'd rather have more than not enough and um, have to send my husband back home to pick more things up. Of course I don't know what kind of birth I'm going to have, um, I've just kind of left it open, I'm open to anything, I'm not the professional here, I'll let the professionals decide for me, um, but I've just packed um, as though I would be in the hospital for a couple of days. So this is the suitcase that I'll be taking with me. I'll have a separate clip of the actual suitcase. It is classed as hand luggage. It's got four wheels and it's got two separate compartments which makes it a bit easier to organise. So yeah, I'm going to open this up and show you what's inside. So I'm just going to open the bag. And as you can see, these are the two compartments that I mentioned. Um, so yeah, so these are for better organisation. Um, on the very top here I've got my maternity notes. Um, so these are the maternity notes I've had throughout my whole pregnancy. I've taken it to every midwife appointment and they've written everything um, in here each appointment. Um, and I've also got my birth plan in here. It's not really much of a birth plan, I've just asked to control um, lights and music. Um, and I've asked for skin to skin, delayed cord clamping and for my husband to cut the cord. There's no mention of any pain relief that I might be interested in because I just don't know and I'm going to play that by ear. Um, of course if they tell me that I need a c-section then that's a different story um, and I'll decide that at the time. Um, of course I'm not the professional here, they're the professionals and they're the ones that are going to recommend what is best for me and baby um, and their recommendations is probably what I'm going to go with. Um, but they're my maternity notes. And then we'll start with this side first. At the top here I've just taken a towel. This is a really old towel and it's a dark colour so I thought that this would be really good for the hospital um, just in case there's anything that gets on it. Um, I, I won't be too upset, I can just throw this away. Um, and then we've got a few clothes, okay. So we'll start with what I've got for hubby, I've actually packed a few things for him. So I've got flip flops for him, just for the hospital, um, because if he's wanting to walk around, he may be more comfortable in flip flops, depending on how long we're there for. He might want to take his shoes off. Um, so I've got a pair of those for him. I've packed him a pair of underwear. <laughs> These are just Primark underwear. Um, I thought that just in case, if we were there for a long time, he might want to change into a fresh pair. Um, and then I've also packed him a t-shirt as well, just a basic t-shirt, this one we got on sale at £2.50 from Matalan, um, so again not too bothered if this gets too dirty. The reason I've packed a t-shirt is if we're doing skin to skin um, and baby comes out a little bit dirty, it might dirty his top, so I thought it might be a good idea for him to have a spare top. I've also packed him some socks, again just in case if we're there for a long time and he wants to change his socks he can do as well. So that's everything that we're taking for hubby, of course he's going to be wearing his own clothes when we get to the hospital, um, so yeah they're just for a change if he feels like he needs it. And then these are for myself, so what I've done is I have packed a um, a couple of pairs of pyjamas, so the first pair is like this, so it's just a button down shirt top um, and this is from Primark, it's size small and it's £10, so you can see that it's really nice, it's long enough to cover my bottom um, which is what I look for when buying tops. Um, unfortunately that doesn't come with any bottoms so I've just got a couple of pair of leggings um, just in case um, one gets dirty and I've got another pair but one is 
to wear with those pajamas and the other one is to wear with a long line t-shirt and this is the long line t-shirt that I bought this is meant to be in a size large I've put the wrong one in because I don't fit into this small anymore but um, these are £3.50 from Primark um, I do have a large I just need to make sure that I've switched them round um, it's, it's a good job really that I'm filming this video so I can have a look to see what I've got wrong um, but yeah, one of those pairs of leggings are to wear with that. The leggings are £3 and they're in a size medium. Um, and again, they're both from Primark. I quite like Primark leggings. You can wash them quite a few times and still um, they're still in a good condition. Um, so I've got those. And then possibly as my coming home outfit, if I don't want to wear the leggings and t-shirt, I've also got this um, maxi dress. And this is a maxi dress that I got from Shein. So it's really, really long. Um, I don't really need to wear much else with it. And this cost me, um, there's no tag in here, but it cost me around 17, 18 pounds. Um, and it's the only thing that I own from Shein. I really do like it and I may buy some more of these just to wear around the house. I've then also got a robe that I'm taking with me, so this is again from Primark, all of these clothes are from Primark, um, this is £12 and I got this in a size medium as well, um, so this is if I'm wanting to walk around the hospital, I've got something to cover myself up with, um, so I don't feel embarrassed, I feel quite comfortable, so I'm taking that with me as well. And finally, for clothing, I've got another pair of pyjamas. This is an actual set, so these are the bottoms. So they're really nice. Um, really soft material. I got them in a size small as well, and they are £10. Um, again, this is a top to match. Again, similar to the black one that you saw earlier. It's just a button down, um, t a button down shirt, um, and it's also long enough to cover my bottom. Again, size small, ten pounds. Um, and I thought that this would be really good if I'm wanting to feed my baby. Then a button down is a really good option. So that's two sets of pyjamas, a set of leggings and a t-shirt top and then a going home outfit which is like a maxi dress and then I've also got a robe to cover up with. So they're all I'm taking for clothing. I've also got some um, socks here, these are the ones with the non-slip uh, like rubber bits at the bottom. I thought these would be good for hospital if I'm wanting to walk around just around my bed, around my room. These might be really good to use. Um, they're £3.50 for a pack of two. I didn't want to take any fluffy socks because I've heard that the hospitals are really, really warm. So I'm not taking any of those. I do have um, slippers though and they are fluffy slippers just in case. Um, and they've got the grip at the bottom as well, the rubber bits at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use these but I thought I'll take them anyway um, and I'm also packing a pair of flip-flops these are Primark's infamous 90p flip-flops um, and this is so that I can wear them in the shower um, so I'm not getting a verruca or anything like that because I've had those before from the showers public showers and it's not very pleasant so definitely recommend you take some flip-flops with you I've got some toiletries in here and I'll go through what's in here. Um, so these are all the toiletries that I'll be taking with me. Um, I will also be taking my makeup bag. Um, I'm just going to take my everyday makeup. So I do have a bag that cont contains my everyday makeup uh, and I'm just going to pack that bag last minute. It's on the list of last minute things to pack. Before I go through what's in here, I'll just tell you a little bit about um, this bag. So it's a clear bag which is great because it lets me see exactly what's inside. It's uh, £4 and it does come in a pack of three. This is the largest of the three. Um, so I like that it's clear. I like that I can just tell Hubby, can you get me this? And he can clearly see what's inside and bring it over. 
Of course, my makeup bag is not clear, but that's fine because that's for me to go through myself. Um, but I'll show you what's in here. So we've got um, toothbrushes in here. These are brand new toothbrushes um, for me and my husband. Um, I'm taking brand new and then I can bring these back with me um, and we can just throw our old ones away. Um, but that's just so that I don't forget to pack them. Um, I've got a flannel. And I've heard these are really good to um, run in warm water, put it on your perineum or in cool water so that you can dab yourself with, put it around your neck just to cool you down during labour. So I've got that. I've got some makeup wipes. I only really use makeup wipes for travel. Um, so I'll be taking some makeup wipes with me um, just in case I turn up at the hospital with makeup or I want to freshen my face. Um, I've got these wipes. To go with the toothbrushes I've got toothpaste, um, this is a mini toothpaste and this is all we'll need for a couple of nights stay in the hospital. I've got a shower cap if I decide to have a shower um, and I don't want to wash my hair then this is an option. Um, but again we'll see how I feel, see how long I'm there for. If I'm only there for a day and they tell me I'm going to go home I might leave the shower for when I get home. I've got a um, body wash as well, this is just a Sonics one, um, just as it's moisturising, it's one that was in um, the 3 for 2 Boots Travel Poetries, <laughs> couldn't think of the word then, um, so it was one of those in there, um, so I thought I'd pick this one up. Also in there I picked up some shampoo and conditioners, um, so these are the Moroccan Argan Oil ones. Um, whatever was there I was just going to pick it up as long as they were mini sizes so um, that's the shampoo and conditioner if I decide to wash my hair I'm not sure if I will but that's an option just in case I decide not to of course I've got the shower cap but I've also got the Batiste um, dry shampoo um, so if my hair's looking a little bit greasy this is an option as well in terms of skincare I'm just taking the simple uh, little travel size bottles again, got them on the three for two for boots, um, at boots. I've got the um, wash, the refreshing facial wash, and then I've also got the um, kind to skin hydrating moisturizer. So that's something that I can apply as well. Um, and also I am taking a little Carmex uh, lip balm and I've heard a lip balm is a must when you're in labour because your lips get really really dry from all the heavy breathing, from all the gas and air if that's something that you're using so this is a definite must. I've got these everywhere anyway, I've got, them in my, I've got one in my car, I've got one in my makeup bag, I've got one in my normal bag, <laughs> I've got one um, in my pocket as well, my cup pocket. So I'm sure I'll find one of these anyway. Um, I've also got a cooling mist spray. Um, so this is if I'm feeling really, really hot, I can just spray this or get my husband to spray this on me just to cool me down. So that's um, a really nice one to use. And then finally in here, I have the spritz for bits. Um, so this one uh, has been recommended all over YouTube just to help numb the area uh, when you've had your baby because it can sting so this just helps the recovery a little bit faster especially if you've got a tear um, so I've decided to pack this with me. I kind of wish that I hadn't bought this because um, I've been gifted the bottoms up one um, but that's fine I'm taking this one with me and the bottoms up one I can use when I come back home. So that's everything I have packed on this side. I'm going to put all this away and then I'll show you what's in the other side. Okay, so moving on to what's in this side of the bag. I'm just going to open this up. So on top you can see it's all the essentials on this side. Um, so I've got quite a few of these. I've packed... Um, all 10 I think, they think they come in a pack of 10. They're from Boots um, and they are cooling pads that you can wear in your underwear just to cool the um, 
the area down. You can make these yourself, you can just use regular pads, put water on it with hazel and put them in the freezer, they're called padsicles, um, but I decided I would buy them instead. Um, I think you can just pop them um, and then they should start cooling up and then put them in your underwear. Got one, two, three, four, five. There's five in here, they come in a pack of five. Um, I've also bought these um, Always Discreet Boutiques. I've heard a lot of good things about these. Um, these ones are in size medium and they are plus six, so quite absorbent. Um, I did want to get the high waist ones, I couldn't find them, so I've got these low rise ones instead. Um, but if I do have a C-section they might irritate a little bit, so I'm not sure about them. Um, if I don't then they may be um, perfect to use. But yeah, so I've just thought I'd pack them because everybody talks about how good they are. You can put a pad in them as well to make them extra absorbent, um, but I think they'll be fine as they are. And then in terms of um, pads, I've got the maternity towels. These are just the regular boots ones. I've bought two packs of these, there's 10 in a pack. I'm taking one pack with me and I'm leaving one pack at home. Um, just because I've got the other stuff as well. I think this is plenty. Of course, if I need to send my husband home to get them, to get more, I'll send him home. But I think this is plenty. I've also packed some um, full brief underwear and I got these in a size medium. They are £3 from Primark um, and I thought that these would be the best. They're black, so I thought these would be really, really good. Um, so yeah, so there is a four in a pack here. I do uh, want to get another pack just to leave at home. Um, I've been really struggling to find them in our Primark, so um, I just need to keep going back and keep having a look. I've also packed an empty bottle. So I know that people recommend to get like a perineum bottle, perineal, I don't know what they're called, but these bottles that you can uh, wash yourself with while you're weeing, um, because it can sting the wee can sting the area. So um, I thought I'm just gonna buy, I'm just gonna put an empty bottle in here because it's just a cost that you don't need. So that's why I've decided an empty bottle does the same job. All you need to do is just go to the bathroom, fill it up, and then use it. So that's what I'm packing. And then finally in this side I have um, a Cowan Gate. These are uh, infant milk from birth, this uh, number one. Um, and these are little bottles that come with sterilised teats. So I thought I'd pack these just in case baby doesn't take to breastfeeding. I've got something um, else that I can give to him. If he does take to breastfeeding and we're doing really well with that, these can be used um, when he's about six months. I don't want to try and combination feed. So I can give him a couple of bottles of these um, for that. Um, and I think these have a really long date on them. Yeah, so they're, they're valid till February, so um, we can use them later on if he does take well to breastfeeding. Um, I've also packed a bag, <laughs> a plastic bag with me, just for any dirty clothes or anything like that that I need to put away. Um, I think there's just, there's a couple here. So yeah, so they'll come in handy for laundry. So yeah, so that's everything that I've packed. Um, I do have a few last minute things to pack. Um, I'll probably pack them in baby's bag as well as mine. I've got um, the charger cables already but I do need to make sure that I take a socket with me. Of course our keys, our phones, any loose change for like vending machines or the car park. I haven't packed any bras. I've got two maternity bras. One I'll probably be wearing on the day and then the other one I need to pack as well. I do have a snack bag so I need to make sure that we take our snack bag with us, snack bag with us. Um, it's got uh, cereal bars in there, um, chocolate bars in there, biscuits, um, Lucozade, um, what else, crisps, Pringles. So yeah it's got quite a few uh, goodies in there so I need to make sure that we're taking that with me. Um, we've got also got like an empty bottle with the, an empty straw bottle that they do recommend that you take. So I've got one of those that I'll be taking with me as well. Um, just because it's easier to drink from and not having to bend up 
um, or bend, put my head back to drink, I can just literally suck through the straw. So that's everything that I've packed in my bag. I'm going to film what I packed in a baby's hospital bag next. Um, so yeah, so please uh, keep a look out for that one. It won't be posted till um, a couple of days or so. Um, after this one but I hope it's given you quite a few ideas on what you might need for your hospital bag um, and help you prepare for the day um, but anyway guys take care I'll see you next time bye